Trump like he always does. I mean, what a master of marketing Trump is. He just announced last night on Truth Social that he's going to Atlanta Thursday. Well, this isn't like a like a field trip. He's not going to Atlanta to go shopping or anything. This is because that Fulton County DA requires him to turn himself in to face that indictment before Friday. So what does he do? He counter programs Thursday. So first he's going to counter program on tomorrow night. He's going to be doing this interview from what we hear with Tucker Carlson. Interestingly, Tucker hasn't said anything. Trump hasn't said anything. But all the speculation, none of which has been denied, is that he's going to counter program with Tucker on Twitter with this pre arranged interview. So it's already been shot. They know what they're going to say and they're going to put it on Twitter so that it counter programs. And I got to imagine the numbers are going to be interesting to see who does better. Now, you're going to hear the mainstream media, by the way, tell you that you can't compare apples to apples on this thing. It's Twitter's very different. You know, by the way, here's how they're going to measure by Nielsen ratings. What did Nielsen ratings say? One viewer equals 25,000. This isn't exactly uh, the most scientific way of looking at this. But then they're going to say, well, if you watch it on Twitter, that doesn't equivocate to what you saw on television. I don't care. I think the point is, is that Donald Trump and Tucker Carlson are, are, you know, competing with this. And there's no question. You can't do both at the same time. Maybe some people watch it after I get it or they DVR the debate and watch that after. But you can't kind of watch both at the same time and really pay attention. I get it. You could have your Twitter screen, your screen up watching the thing, but you can't listen to both. I actually will be very intrigued to see how one does versus the other. 